Mr. Chairman. I, uh, first of all, I think all opening statements were great opening statements. I, I commend you on uh, those statements. Ms. Ruby, uh, last year we had major concerns with the Secretary of the D DOE uh, interfering with the work of the NNSA and putting our nuclear modernization programs at risk, even questioning what our role is in developing the budget and some other things, and it was not a, a workable thing. We had to, in fact, I had to personally intervene with the then uh, President Trump to uh, get the things pretty well straightened out. So we've got to have a clear understanding at DOE and OMB about the work of the Nuclear Weapons Council. Now, I, I like the fact that you, and I told you this before, uh, state came right out with some of your priorities and stating what those priorities were. To number one, ensuring the success of our weapons programs. Two, updating obsolete uh, uh, infrastructure. And three, taking care of our people. And I agree with those uh, priorities. Will you uh, agree to keeping us informed as how you're coming along with your priorities? Uh, uh, yes, Senator. Uh, uh, of course, I will, would be delighted to keep you informed if confirmed. Okay, and I think also, uh, Mr. Rose, do you plan? How do you plan to support Ms. Ruby and ex exec these uh, in these priorities, these three priorities? Um, Senator, I agree with all of her priorities, and I will do everything in my power to be a very good deputy if confirmed. That's good. And uh, Mr. Mayor, I want to talk a little bit about what's happening in Africa right now. It's a critical theater for implementing our, our uh, national defense strategy. China and Russia are on the rise. China's opened its first overseas military base in Djibouti. A lot of people don't realize that. This is the first time they've done this. And, and now they're all the way as far south as southern part of Tanzania. They're active in there as, as well as Russia being on the rise in, in, that, in that area. So uh, right now, the, uh, they're, they're ISIS and Al Qaeda are on the increase as well. And to deal with these threats, we only have 6,000 uh, personnel, military personnel, on the entire continent. I was critical of uh, the previous administration because when they were talking about revamping, and, and uh, changing our priorities in different parts of the, of the world. Uh, I really feel that we are understaffed. That's the only area where we're starting off uh, uh, understaffed. And I'm not anticipating or expecting that you have uh, had a chance to look at and evaluate the number of the personnel and whether or not it's adequate. But any uh, first thoughts in terms of where they are in, in, uh, in that field? Senator, thanks for the question. And I think Africa is a very important theater, as you say, for both things that special operations is focused on. Obviously, 20 years or more of the counterterrorism fight, there's, as you mentioned, a, a number of ISIS and Al-Qaeda affiliates there. But then it's also an arena for competition, as you referenced in Djibouti. And uh, I think my objective, if confirmed, is to very much look at where we're getting return on that investment and where we can combine some of those missions to get more benefit for the national defense strategy. Okay. Well, I think one of the first things that I, I would like to have you do and share with us on what your impression is in terms of the adequacy of our resources in, in, in Africa. Would you do that? I, I would, Senator, if confirmed, be glad to look at that as a first priority. Okay. Lastly, I, I think that there's going to be some of the members are going to be talking to uh, uh, you, Ms. Rosenblum, about the, the issue of no first use policy. There's some confusion as to where you are in some people's minds, and I'll give you one shot to state that before the, the rest of them get to you. All right? All right. Thank you, Senator. I appreciate the opportunity to clarify my view on this. Um, given the strategic environment that we face, one that is absolutely challenging U.S. interests and those of our allies, I do not support a no-first-use policy. All right. Thank you very much. Chairman? Thank you. 